you know, the, the Dominican that translation at least, maybe this is for all children of immigrants, I've heard a lot of other children of immigrants address this as well, instead of saying I love you and I support you, they say hey you're fat, go get a fucking job. That's like their definition of support. <laughs> um, and it's, uh, it's, it's pretty demoralizing and, and you start to experience not having uh, self-confidence for a really long time and I, I don't really have any self-confidence. And I started to think about people who do have a lot of self-confidence. And I thought of people who manspread on the train. People who sit really wide-legged on the train, like they're playing, they're getting ready to go to, to, go to ballet oh. rehearsal. It's, uh, it's, always, it's always very intense the way they do it. And the reason I, I thought of this specifically was because this one time, it was actually two weeks ago, I was on the train and there were these two guys on either side of the train spread out. They were, they were like getting ready to shoot laser beams out of their dicks and their like, legs couldn't be in the blast radius. Like, they were like, Woo! And they were like right across from each other. And mind you, this train uh, had a pregnant lady on it and a man on crutches. And it was like all standing room and there's these two guys in the middle looking at each other. They didn't even give a shit. They were just talking. At, like they were at a fucking sauna or something. Like, they were like, oh yeah, you a man too? Oh yeah, this is great man, it's awesome! And, and it was just really awful. And aside from thinking about how ballsy that is, literally ballsy, there's a lot of balls and balls in, in the process. But aside from thinking about that, I also thought about, okay, so how do we how do we get rid of man spreading? How do we how do we stop the spread? And lucky for everybody here today, I actually have a plan. So I'm going to explain this in steps. Uh, so this is a C. So this is actually more for all the men in the audience. Um, it, I feel like it's our responsibility to deal with mass spreading because we're the people who do it. So um, step one. First, you gotta find a, a person that's mass spreading, right? a guy that's mass spreading, and you gotta sit down next to him. And you gotta mass spread too. You gotta get. You gotta get that dick laser ready. You gotta go. You gotta get ready. And then step two is you gotta make sure your knees touch. You gotta make sure you touch knees with this other man. It's imperative that you do this. That's the most important step of this process. And then step three, when he looks over at you, you do this. You ready? You ready? You go, puppy, how you going? And that's it. That's the point. Now, this is gonna work in one of two ways. Way one, okay? This man is not comfortable with this. And he is going to get up and he's gonna be like, man, you gay, get the hell away from me! And he's gonna walk away, he's gonna get off the train, and he's gonna say, hey man, um, fuck, you gave me the minute, and I lost my trip. It's all good, it's all good, it's all good. All good, all good, I'll finish up, finish up, I got enough time. And he's gonna be like, oh man, and he's gonna have to walk off the train, contemplate how touching these made him want to suck a dick, right? He's gonna have to contemplate, it's an imperative. And then way too is that this man might like it. This man might like it, and you might like it too, and that's great. And you're gonna have to sit next to him, and you're gonna have to take one for the team, and you're gonna have to flirt with him until the stop, or you're gonna have to meet your next date before the next stop. And that way, you have three seats open, you have three seats available, it's an amazing process. That's my plan, and that's how we end man spreading, one knee touch at a time. Thank you so much, everybody.